Have you ever wondered whether freezing breast milk could diminish its nutritional value? Let's debunk this and other common myths that often leave new moms perplexed. Firstly, many believe that freezing breast milk lowers its nutritional content. However, research shows that freezing does not significantly degrade the vitamins, minerals, proteins, and other vital nutrients present in breast milk. Sure, there might be a slight decrease in some vitamins after a prolonged period of freezing, but the loss is minimal, and your milk still remains a powerhouse of nutrition for your little one. Secondly, there's a common notion that fresh milk is always better than frozen. While fresh milk does have certain live components like cells and antibodies that may decrease slightly during freezing, the overall immune properties and nutritional value of the milk remain largely intact even after freezing. So if you're worried about your baby missing out on the goodness of your milk while you're away, just freeze it. Another myth that circulates is that the process of freezing and thawing milk can make it taste or smell different, making it less appealing to the baby. While it's true that the taste and smell might change slightly due to an enzyme called lipase, most babies don't mind it at all. And if your baby is one of the few who seem to dislike it, don't worry, there are ways to counteract this. Lastly, some moms worry that freezing milk in plastic storage bags or containers could expose their baby to harmful chemicals. But the truth is, as long as you're using containers specifically designed for breast milk storage, which are BPA and phthalate-free, you're in the clear. So let's bust these myths wide open. Freezing your breast milk is not just a convenient option, but it also ensures that your baby gets the most out of your milk, even when you're not around. And remember, every drop of your milk is precious. Freezing ensures none of it goes to waste. Rest assured, freezing your breast milk is a safe and efficient way to ensure your baby gets all the necessary nutrients. And we're just getting started. Stay tuned for more tips on how to store and freeze your milk safely. Before we dive into the freezing process, let's talk about preparation. You've probably heard the saying, cleanliness is next to godliness. When it comes to expressing and storing breast milk, this mantra holds true. Ensuring everything is clean from your hands to your storage containers is crucial in maintaining the purity of your milk and the health of your baby. Start with washing your hands thoroughly. It's a simple step, but one that is often overlooked. Use warm water and soap and scrub for at least 20 seconds. Then dry your hands using a clean towel. Remember, we're trying to keep everything as germ-free as possible. Now let's talk about containers. Breast milk can be stored in specialized storage bags, hard plastic containers, or glass containers. The choice is yours. What's important is that whatever you choose is clean and sterilized. If using a container, it should have a tight-fitting lid to prevent any possible contamination. Sterilizing is not as daunting as it sounds. You can boil your containers or bags in water for about 10 minutes, or you can use a sterilizer if you have one. After sterilizing, let them air dry on a clean dish towel. Avoid using a dish towel to dry them, as this can introduce bacteria. Once you have your clean dry container, you're ready to express your milk. But before you do, here's a vital tip. Always label your container with the date you express the milk. This is important as breast milk has a use by date, and it's best to use the oldest milk first. You can write the date on a piece of tape and stick it on your container or bag. It's a simple step, but one that will help you keep track of your milk's freshness. And that's it for preparation. It might seem like a lot, but these steps become second nature in no time. And remember, each drop of breast milk is like liquid gold for your baby, so it's worth the effort to ensure it's stored safely and cleanly. Remember, preparation is key when it comes to storing your precious breast milk. Now that we're prepared, let's move on to the freezing process. Freezing breast milk might seem tricky, but it's actually quite simple once you get the hang of it. The first step, of course, is to pour your freshly pumped milk into the storage container of your choice. This could be a specially designed breast milk bag or a clean food grade container with a secure lid. Now, here's a key point to remember. Don't fill the container to the brim. You want to leave some space at the top because milk expands as it freezes. Think of it like a water bottle in the freezer. If you've ever accidentally left one in there too long, you know what I'm talking about. It's generally a good idea to leave about an inch of space to prevent any messy mishaps. Once your milk is safely in its container, it's time to put a lid on it. Make sure the lid is secure, but don't over-tighten it. You want to create a good seal, but you also don't want it to crack under the pressure of the expanding milk. Next, it's off to the freezer, but not just any spot will do. 
you want to avoid the door or any areas that frequently experience temperature changes. The back of the freezer, where the temperature is most consistent, is the ideal spot. Now, you might be wondering, how long can I keep my milk in the freezer? Great question. In a standard freezer, your milk can be safely stored for up to six months. However, if you have a deep freezer, you can extend that to a whopping 12 months. Remember, safety first. Always label your milk with the date it was expressed. This helps you to use the oldest milk first and ensures none of it goes to waste. And just like that, your breast milk is safely frozen and ready for future use. So, how do you go about thawing and using your frozen breast milk? Well, let's dive right into it. Thawing your frozen breast milk is a delicate process that requires care. First and foremost, you want to plan ahead. To thaw your milk, place the frozen bag or container in the refrigerator the night before you plan to use it. This allows for a slow and safe thawing process. However, we understand that sometimes life throws curveballs and you might need to thaw your milk quickly. In such cases, hold the frozen milk under warm running water. The key here is warm, not hot. Hot water might overheat the milk and destroy some of its beneficial properties. Now you may be wondering, can I just pop it into the microwave for a quick thaw? The answer is a resounding no. Microwaving breast milk is a big no-no. It not only risks overheating the milk, but can also create hot spots that can burn your baby's mouth. Once your milk is properly thawed, gently swirl it to mix the fat, which may have separated during freezing. And remember, shaking is out, swirling is in. Shaking the milk can break down the proteins, while swirling gently mixes the milk without damaging these precious nutrients. Now let's talk about the clock. The moment your frozen milk is fully thawed, the countdown begins. You should aim to use thawed milk within 24 hours. Why? Because after this point, the quality of the milk begins to deteriorate and bacteria may start to multiply. However, if the milk smells or tastes sour, it's better to be safe than sorry. Toss it out, even if it hasn't been 24 hours yet. Trust your instincts, they're usually right. And here's a crucial piece of advice. Once thawed, breast milk should never be refrozen. Refreezing can increase the risk of bacterial development and further degrade the milk's nutritional quality. Remember, once thawed, breast milk should never be refrozen. Let's recap some of the key takeaways from today's video. We've traversed quite a journey together, navigating the often overlooked nuances of freezing breast milk. We've debunked myths, prepared for storage, and learned the ins and outs of freezing and thawing. Firstly, we tackled the myths surrounding freezing breast milk and set the record straight. We learned that freezing doesn't deplete the milk's nutritional value and contrary to popular belief, it's perfectly safe and beneficial for your little one's growth. Next, we delved into the preparation phase. We emphasized the importance of hand hygiene, clean storage containers, and the correct method of expressing milk. Remember, cleanliness is paramount. A clean environment ensures your milk remains uncontaminated and safe for your baby. We then ventured into the freezing process itself. We learned that breast milk expands during freezing, so it's crucial not to fill your storage bag or container to the brim. Leave some room for expansion to prevent any spills or leaks. We also discussed the importance of labeling and dating your milk before freezing. This allows you to keep track of your stock and use the oldest milk first. In the fourth chapter, we mastered the art of thawing and using frozen milk. We learned that the safest way to thaw frozen breast milk is in the refrigerator or under warm running water. Never use a microwave, as it can create hot spots that could burn your baby's mouth. Remember, you're not alone in this journey. Join our community of mothers to share experiences, ask questions, and get the support you need. You're doing a fantastic job, and we're here to help you every step of the way. Let's continue to learn, grow, and navigate this beautiful journey of motherhood together.